And that breaking news is out of Detroit's east side as police search for this missing five-year-old boy. Thank you for joining us this morning. Kendall Moses is his name, and he was last seen by his mother just after midnight. Our Nick Monticelli joins us live from the scene. Uh, this is on the east side again. Uh, we want you to keep an eye out for uh, Kendall Moses as multiple law enforcement agencies have joined the search now, Nick. Uh, so you've got the Michigan State Police, Detroit Police, uh, canine units. They're showing up literally uh, in, in droves. This, this is turning into a very, very active scene. I just talked to the paternal grandmother and the aunt of Kendall Moses, and they're saying that he is a sweet little boy, and this is out of his character. He has never walked away from the house. He's not the kind of kid that wanders away, so they are very concerned about what is going on with him. You're looking at his picture right now, and it's a little strange, the circumstances surrounding this. I just talked to one of the investigators. They're trying to nail down exactly what may have happened out here, but uh, if you look around, there are so many officers scouring this neighborhood because at about 1230 in the morning, there were several people in front of this home on the front porch. And when you look at the police report and the police logs, the investigator was telling me that they last saw Kendall at about 1230, but it's also listed at 1230 at the time that he disappeared. So what they're gathering during all of this and after talking to the family is that they were outside and they saw him and he was out with them for a little bit and then he just vanished. He walked away or somebody took him. So this is an incredibly active and incredibly scary situation as they try to determine exactly what happened to Kendall. You're looking at his photo again. Uh, he is a five-year-old little boy, uh, three feet, five inches tall, about 35 pounds. He was last seen wearing a black shirt. I uh, also had uh, some basketball shorts on uh, and a pair of uh, basketball shoes. If you happen to see Kendall, please call 911 immediately to get the, the state police or Detroit police and others over to help this little boy. We are anticipating an Amber Alert uh, that might go out. However, an Amber Alert is usually when an, um, an abduction, abduction is involved, so that might not happen, but that's just something that uh, they've been talking about here on the scene as well. We will keep on top of this. We're going to keep you updated. Again, if you see Kendall, please call 911. We're live here in Detroit Seaside, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News Today. All right, Nick, and you said that the family or officers believe that little Kendall wandered away. Is there a reason why they believe that and have maybe ruled out that someone could have taken him? Well, that, that's a possibility. So that's kind of what they're thinking because they don't remember seeing anybody else. Uh, in fact, let me get out of the way. Uh, the MSP has their canine unit out here. Uh, they have been walking around every home out here looking for any kind of track of Kendall. Um, but no, that is, that is a possibility. I think the one they're leaning towards him wandering away because they don't remember seeing anybody, but everything is a possibility right now. And as you're watching live, um, this is something that no family wants to go through. This is pretty terrifying to watch these officers and canine uh, units walk through her trying to find this little kid. I mean, they're looking right now one, two, three, four houses away from where uh, he was last seen. They have been looking through cars. They have been um, knocking on every door and window in this neighborhood. Now, many of these homes obviously are vacant. Uh, so again, if you see Kendall or might have an idea of where he could be, or if this is a misunderstanding and someone else has him, just someone please call the police and let everybody know what's going on here. All right. Oh, well, let's certainly hope the latter is true and that he's just somewhere safe, Nick. Thank you.